Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, in today's video, we're going to do part two of basics of animation. For those of you who just started out in Maya or are new to the animation features in Maya, and we're just simply going to create a, a scene that involves some animation just to get the hang of it, okay? And uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, we're not working with rigged characters. We're just working with basic objects that we're going to move and so forth, okay? So first, we're going to create a kind of um, uh, terrain for our object to cover, if you will. So I'll take a polygon torus, and I'll just uh, scale that down quite a bit. And don't mind me modeling that. It's uh, not necessarily what we're dealing with here. Uh, let's do 30 by 30, and I'll set the radius to 2. There we go. So we're going to hit E, we're going to rotate that guy upwards, and set that to 90, and rotate it like so, 90 again, okay, and we'll hit W, and we'll bring that up, maybe even higher, okay, and then we'll create a cube somewhere down here, like so. And uh, what else? We'll uh, create a cylinder over here. And we'll just see what we can come up with. Okay. So that's our terrain. All right. Now, remember last time we talked about keyframing the position of your object. Okay. So we're going to take this uh, simple ball right here. Okay. And we're going to drag that out, as you can see. And that's going to be our starting point. Okay, so this is our starting position based on translation values and so forth. So we'll do, I don't know, let's do 500 frames on that. Okay, so we're going to hit S on our keyboard. So just select that guy and hit S. There you go, it's keyframed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have the ball jump through the hoop, hit this, and then from there make an impossible curve bounce back here and roll out that way, something like so, okay? And it doesn't always have to be logical, uh, just as long as it's fun, okay? There we go. So we need to move it up here. Now, if we defined our ending point on this platform here, it wouldn't go through the, um, the circle. So that is kind of what is called in-betweening. Um, uh, you kind of set a number of frames so one here and one in the middle of this circle, and then you know what your path will be. And then in traditional 2D animation, the uh, in-between frames will cover this position towards that position, okay? So we're gonna go to this view. We're gonna go to, let's say, um, let's see, 24 frames per second. Let's do 50, okay? We're going to move, and we're going to move up until we are well within our circle, like so. And we'll give it some rotation, just for the heck of it. All right. And then we're going to hit S on our keyboard. So if we scrub that, you're going to see that as it moves up, it's rotating in two directions, okay? So that's our frame. Now, that's 50, so now we'll go to 100, okay? And then we'll move our object, hit W, move it over here, and move it down so it's exactly on our platform. Just hit F to zoom in. Yeah, looks about right. And we'll do some more rotation just to add a little bit of realism. And we'll hit S once again on our keyboard. All right. Now, from that position, we want it to bounce off this guy. Okay. But we also want to give it some height. So we need to kind of find a midpoint for that. So we're at frame 100, so we're going to go to, let's say, 150, 
like so. We're going to go to this view and we're going to hit W. And let's do that from the top. Okay, so we're going to hit W and we're going to move it to about halfway. And as we do that, we're going to create the highest point of the, uh, the arch that it's going to make. So probably somewhere around so. We'll hit E and rotate it some more and rotate it some more. Hit S on our keyboard. And then from there, we're going to move on towards our object. So let's do that again from our top view. Hit W. We're going to move that until it's touching our object. And we want that to be at a somewhat lower position. So let's say around there. And we'll rotate some more and rotate some more. And actually, I think I forgot something. Yes, I did. Sorry about that. Let's scrub this. Okay, so that's our midpoint around 150. So I need to go to 200 first and then move my object and move it down. Move it to this guy. Let's just see how close I am. Like so. Height wise, that's about there. Give it some more rotation. And once again, hit S the keyframe. And then our last move would be from there. So let's go to, let's say 250. And we'll move it out here. Over there. And we'll move it down back to our ground plane like so, and give it some more rotation, and hit S, okay? So now, if we go to this view, you should have a pretty funky looking impossible animation, okay? So let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, it's jumping the hoop, it's hitting the platform, and it's bouncing off the cylinder and it's coming back, okay? Now, obviously there's nothing fancy about this at all. Um, that's not the point of the tutorial. The point is to kind of get um, acquainted with how you approach a movement, that you can see that your translate and rotation values are changing and how to keyframe them, okay? So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching, bye.